If you're building a little robot friend from a do-it-yourself kit, you get to handpick its custom personality by choosing a unique combination of resistor shoelaces. But first things first, what exactly is a resistor? Well, it's a component that does one simple job. It slows down the flow of electrons with a certain amount of resistance, which is measured in ohms. There's a range of five to choose from in our kit. They have resistances ranging from very high to very low, which determines how intense your robot's personality will be. So, how do you tell the resistors apart? By decoding their four color bands. To read the resistor, hold it so the gold band is on the right. This orientation doesn't matter when you're soldering it, though. We'll start with the lowest, most relaxed resistor, with a 2.2 thousand ohm rating, which reads red, 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 gold. For a little more resistance, try a 4.7 thousand ohm resistor, yellow, violet, red, gold. In the middle, the most balanced choice is a 9.1 thousand ohm resistor, white, brown, red, gold. To really resist a trait, try the next level up, at 15 thousand ohms brown, green, orange, gold. And if you want the most resistance possible, try a 27,000 ohm resistor. Red, violet, orange, gold. Now that you can read the resistors, where do they go? Let's look at the footboard. You'll notice there are spots for six resistors. Each spot controls a different trait. The first is shoelace A, happiness. A low resistance to happiness makes an easy-going, cheerful robot. Meanwhile, a robot with a high resistance to happiness will be quite grumpy, and a resistor in the middle will be a balance of both. Shoelace B is chattiness. A low resistance will make a robot talk on and on at length, whereas a high resistance will make a robot of fewer words. Shoelace C is for humor. A low resistance lets a robot enjoy a good tickle, but trying to tickle a robot with a high resistance will definitely get awkward. Shoelace D is for enthusiasm. A low resistance will allow for a fast-talking, enthusiastic robot, whereas a high resistance will make your robot sound more slow and surly. Shoelace E is neediness. A low resistor craves attention and will bug you to play, whereas one with a high resistor is cool and calm, even if you're not around. And finally, Shoelace F is for bravery. A low resistor has no problem handling itself in the dark, but a high resistor will chicken out and need a hug. With these six traits and your choice of five levels of resistance, your robot's personality can be customized in hundreds of ways. Once your custom personality is soldered into place, power up your robot. Its initial setting is to read its resistors and act in a customized way. But if you ever feel like changing things up, you're also able to select from our 10 preset characters and swap personalities whenever you want. To watch a video about our character selector, click here. To continue building a do-it-yourself kit, click here.